Hi, my name is Henzi Tanyan Sawyer. Thank you for clicking on this video. I have decided to make this video about how I work or what I have to offer so that it will give clients an overall idea of what they can expect in their session. Well, I do have a lot of information on my website about what I have to offer and how I work, but I thought maybe I just tailor this specifically for the tools and in terms of the approaches that I use to give clients an idea of what it is because I know some clients still do call me even when they watch the initial assessment video because they want to you know ask one questions or the other so maybe this can help you um, understand what it is that you know you might expect or what do you need so even if you haven't had therapy before that's fine if you've had therapy before um, some clients don't really know what approach their old therapists used before don't worry about that i'll give you all the information here and then you can see whether you want to proceed if you do want to proceed please call me book a session or visit my website complete the email contact form by pressing on the icon on the website on the email icon on the website to get yourself um, a rec uh, an application form okay i've written some few things down so i don't forget um, and because sometimes when you're talking you tend to forget so i've written some few things down so that i don't forget so i'm going to refer to them now one of the things in terms of the counseling approach and the psychotherapy approaches i use as an integrative counselor is psychodynamics and before i explain that integrative counseling means drawing from different approaches different psychotherapy and counseling approaches that makes my work so i'm not trained in a specific approach i'm trained in different types of approaches that i can use so i'm not one size fits all but i rather for me to be able to help all my clients who i feel have a variety of issues like we all do as human beings I feel it is good to get knowledge in different skills and stuff and that's how I've trained. So for the things I've written down here, I'm just looking at my notes now. Oh yes, psychodynamic. So psychodynamic, you might ask what psychodynamic means. Psychodynamic, it looks, it looks at symptoms you feel which can be an expression of your feelings and your thoughts that are out of your conscious awareness because you they are too painful to acknowledge and are kept hidden so for example um maybe something happened maybe something traumatic traumatic happened or maybe it could not be anything traumatic that has happened to you but it's in your past um, childhood or your teenagers that has happened you've buried it or you've locked it away because it's too painful for you to to remember what psychodynamic does is go into your childhood Go into your past to look at those issues that might be affect that might that you might have buried, you know, which might be appearing, you know, in your adult state as different types of behavior. And then you can be able to make that link. So it looks at your current thoughts and behavioral patterns and it links it to your past unconscious memories which you have not been aware of because you have because they have been too painful to deal with you've kept them hidden you know so that's what psychodynamic do now the way i work with psychodynamic i like to first of all look at the problem clients come and they present different things with them for me i feel that if you have a problem there is a root cause for that problem so i like to go underneath to find out okay you suffer from anxiety or you're suffering from depression or you've had child sexual abuse, you have this that's happening now for you. Where did that all start? You know, where did it all come from? Where did it all start? So looking at where it all started for me in their approach and how I work, that is very important for me and my clients, okay? And sometimes, there are times where we spend a lot of time looking at the underground work and looking at where they come from, the root causes, and there are some times where we only pinpoint it and say, okay, this is where it comes from, and then we can start to put solutions or start to address it straight away. Because some clients just want a short session, and I can use solution focus where just providing them the skills, the techniques, and there are some clients who want to, you know, spend longer time exploring that and and going more into depth 
So another approach that I also use is CBT. So CBT looks at your thought patterns and how it affects your behavior and your feelings using explorative questioning and specific techniques to help you change your thought pattern. So for example, I've had clients who say, well, I have anxiety or I have negative thinking or have problem with, with low self-esteem. What CBT does is help you look at, okay, why am I thinking that way? And it provides you with informed, it, it provides you with information to you, for you to make that informed choice so that you can start to change your behavioral pattern. It provides you with the knowledge and choice to change your, your behavioral pattern. Um, one of the things I also want to mention in terms of uh, psychodynamics, you find yourself maybe projecting, you know, or maybe being defensive. So when somebody speaks to you about something, that reminds you of something that you've gone through. Or maybe somebody wears a perfume and that reminds you about your past. And because of that, it brings out a kind of negative feeling within you. And then you start to have a a negative feeling about the person in front of you now it's not the person in front of you that's the problem the problem is the the event or what happened to you previously that's what the problem is and that's where the problem lies but because that person is the one that triggers it in front of you it brings up that feeling so what psychodynamic does is to be able to explore that once i finish exploring that with you i like to also say don't don't leave you hanging but it's to provide you with the tools to be able to help you cope. And that's what CBT does. Now, person-centered helps you to, it allows the client the space to offload and find solutions and understand their own problem. You know, with that, I use reflective techniques to guide you. So see, um, person-centered is about guiding you. So it's basically about you talking a lot whilst I sit down, understanding your story, listening to what you're saying, but also using reflective questions, asking you, okay, how does that work for you? How did you feel about that? What, what What's going on? Helping you to understand your story and so that you can make sense of what it is that you're saying or where you're coming from or what the problem is. Um, with, with person centered, that's quite the root of every therapy, uh, therapeutic relationship being that you need that to be able to establish that relationship. So in terms of when a client comes to me, I like to use person center because I want to know your story. I want to hear what you have to say. And for me to do that, I have to have that empathy to listen to what you have to say without judgment, providing that safe space for you so that you can feel free and open to talk about your, your issues in a confidential space. So that's, that's for that. And also I like to use very creative. I'm very creative. I'm a very creative person. So I incorporate that creativity into my sessions. I like to do creative therapy. I use, um, different visual aids. Um, especially when we're doing psychodynamics, I use that also in terms of, um, drawings. I use a lot of drawings actually. And then I use like little figurines and little, tools um in terms of um let's say what, what do i have in my therapy room that i'm looking at yeah i have like dolls i have um miniature chairs and tables to create a scene of whatever it is the client wants to talk about in in their in their session so that that's good that's good for those who feel that you know sometimes clients can't express themselves that's fine you know it's okay sometimes if, if you can't express yourself and that's what person centered helps you to do help you to express the feeling you know what you're feeling what's going on in there for you and looking at that without judgment you know without judgment and that's what therapy because when you go to your friends to talk about stuff your friends will be able to look at it from your own perspective but they you know sometimes might not have the ability to look at it you know from from an from an outside perspective because they are close to you so there's a conflict of interest there they want to guide you they want to protect you so they might say things you know but when you come to therapy you, you know we are strangers so we'll be able to say you know i'll be able to say to you what your 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 own friends or family will not be able to say to you and also i am trained and qualified and experienced if i may add to be able to do that uh, with you and help you you know the aim is change 
is change a lot of clients say oh Hensi, i don't know why you know things are, are not working for me but you see if you put the work in therapy is not easy but you've got to put the work in if you want to see changes happening in your marriage in your relationship in yourself as a person you have to put the work in and the work is that when you come into therapy you go away and think about it and you're reflecting i like to work in collaboration with my my clients i like to work with my clients i like you know us to do the work together you know that's how i like to work i like to work with clients where we are doing the work together so don't worry it's not just about you doing the work i'm doing the work with you and by helping you by guiding you and holding your hand so that we can do it one you know we can we can go side by side because there are times where clients don't feel motivated to do anything i can help you when you come to the sessions we can explore that more why you don't feel motivated or why you feel that the the world around you is the way helping you to understand yourself better so that anything that you've buried or any mask that you might have you, you can begin to take it off and feel feel safe enough to take it off in a safe space okay also um i do a lot of what we call in counseling transactional analysis looking at the social interaction and social behavior of client how clients relate you know the the adult the parent the child you know relationship we look at that how we as adults sometimes we can go into our younger self you know act act as children or act as a young person you know even whilst we're an adult we all have that inner self I also i like to do an in i like to do in terms of one of the tools that i use for my um psychodynamic work is inner child you know i like to work with the inner child looking at that younger self for so that you as a person what, what you weren't able to tell your younger self you'll be able to do so in that session if you want to know more about how i work and what's on offer to you visit my website www.hts a w y e r c s dot com that's h t s a w y e r c s dot com book a session um and then we can take it from there get in contact with me my all my details uh, if you just click the link you, you copy and paste the link or click the link or press the drop down menu you will see all the details available for you in this video and I want you to have a nice day. Enjoy your day today. And hopefully I'll see you in the therapy room. Bye.